I mean, I'm, I'm blessed. Episode published. What? You did it? Yeah, I saw that you posted seconds before I was able to get mine up. Oh, did I beat you to it? Yeah, you did. That's episode three. So, just did one on Diet Coke and um, talked a little bit about making small changes. You want to start a streetwear brand? Right. But if that's the only goal that you make, do you really think you're going to get it done? I have no idea. you got to break that big goal into small goals. I know. Right. You're totally right. So that's kind of what Diet Coke taught me. I can't wow. just change my entire life in one decision. I have to make small decisions, and giving up Diet Coke was the first step. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I've been all in the DMs with Anchor well, today. So this is something that I don't think people do, which is actually reach out to brands they okay. care about. Yes. Here's Where something I seriously think people don't look at enough, is how accessible brands actually are. Right. Everyone's like, oh, it's a brand. They're like they'll never reach out back, whatever. No, if you do. have any question or anything, DM them. Like, I'm serious. Every one of them, like, they care so much about customer support that they will for sure talk to you back. Great. And now I've, like, made friends with this person. And, look, we're, like, in a big thread. And they're like, actually, can you just, like, email us all these bugs and, like, ideas you have for us? So they know about the whole, like, Natalie Frank community and all of us that are, like, jumping on. It's so okay. fun. So fun. So fun. All okay, right, seven by seven. Let's do it. It's time. Let's go. Wait, are you gonna go? Oh, I, I thought you were gonna cut there. Okay. <laughs> awkward pause. This is really awkward. Everybody. Here. I'm I know ready. you never made it to class on time, but I'm you ready. do make it to every seven by seven. <laughs> that is. Cool. So how you doing this morning, Bailey? How's it Good. going? I'm doing well. <laughs> All right, ready, rock and roll. We're ready. No. We're ready, Daniel. I will. I will. <laughs> I'm not. Don't forget the mic. Heading back to a meeting and being really quiet because all the teams are working right now but getting ready to present the brand story to our community team hoping hoping that it goes really well I think it will um, ultimately they've been a part of this process so they know a lot about what we're doing a little bit about our team it talks a little bit about our member this is not a uh, member persona this is an aspirational vision of what life could be like for a member of the creative economy with our product. One thing that I feel as though I have a huge concern about, and I would be curious to know if this resonates with you, is that there is this pervasive lie or misconception on the internet that building a social media following means you're going to have a profitable business. Like this is, like, this is a huge misconception. Now, I'm not saying that building one won't help to give you a platform in which you can strategically monetize or like bring people into your business. But my concern is what we hear a lot, what I hear a lot is that people are spending so much time pouring into Instagram, pouring into Facebook, pouring into Twitter to the point where they're not actually doing the things they need to do to grow the business, right? And when, you know, I hear sort of things like, um, you know, I don't know if that's actually going to help me book more. I immediately go to this idea of like, well, what will? And I know what people think will, right? Like I know people think I'm gonna buy this course on how to grow my Instagram following and that's going to make me a six figure business owner. And that's not necessarily the truth, right? We all know that. Now, again, I'm not discounting that having a, a social media platform will help you because it does, but it's what you do after you get the platform. It's how you move people down the funnel. It's how you build trust, how you build affinity, how you lead them to HoneyBook. And that's kind of where, I don't know how we communicate that because if you're building this big platform, but you're not getting back to people in 24 hours on an email response, if you're building this big platform, but you aren't um, navigating with electronic signatures and online contracts, so it's seamless, you take credit cards or not, like these are pain points and sticking points that people would rather spend two hours building an Instagram and commenting on Instagram than actually fixing what may be the friction points that are preventing them from building a profitable business. This is... Hello, this is the reality. And I don't know like how we step up and say, stop, like, cause it is, it's kind of like, it's, it makes me sick a little to be like, stop focusing on social media and start focusing on a business. About to have a meeting with Shanna Skidmore. She is amazing and she is all about finances for creative entrepreneurs. So I'm mm. super excited. We've been mutual friends online for a really long time. We have a ton of friends in common. And one of my goals this year is to take those online relationships and actually nurture them and, and really connect with these people, like really get to know one another, um, which I'm encouraging everyone else to do too. So it should be fun. <laughs> 